They then revolves around a group of LGBTQ plus teens at a gay conversion camp. While dealing with their complex gender identities, the teens must protect themselves from a serial killer on a deadly crusade. The slasher horror film is written by John Logan and marks Logan's directorial debut. The film features a classic whodunit mystery at the center of its plot that deals with the theme of gender conformity and highlights queer empowerment. If you are looking for answers about the movie's twist ending, we've got you covered. Here is everything you need to know about the ending of They Them. Spoilers ahead. They Them plot synopsis. They Them opens with a car breaking down on a remote road in the middle of the woods. A mysterious figure attacks the car driver and kills them. Sometime later, a group of queer teenagers arrives at the Whistler camp, a remote camp that practices conversation therapy. Led by the enigmatic Owen Whistler, the camp sets itself apart from other such camps by respecting the gender identity struggles of its patrons. Owen introduces the teens to the camp staff, including Owen's wife, Cora, the nurse, Molly, the athletics head, Zane, and the cook, Sarah. The teens are asked to settle into separate dorms for girls and boys. However, one of the teens, Jordan, is open about their non-binary gender status. Owen respects Jordan's gender identity and asks him to settle with the boys. However, Owen promises that Jordan can change dorms if they feel uncomfortable. Soon, the teenagers start performing various activities at the camp that help them become the true versions of themselves. However, Jordan finds pictures of the camp students being tortured. Jordan becomes the focus of the teens' concerns about the camp's methods. However, Owen reassures them that the camp will help the teens embrace their true selves. Nonetheless, Zane and Sarah make sexual advances toward some of the teens at the camp. The camp's gardener, Balthazar, is murdered by a mysterious figure. Meanwhile, a gay teen, Stu, is tortured by Owen and Zane to eradicate his sexuality. However, Molly learns of the inhuman treatment of Stu and tries to expose the camp. However, Cora, Zane, and Sarah are also murdered leading the teens to fear for their lives. With only Molly and Owen to protect them, the teens must stick together and fight for their lives. They're the mending. Who is the killer? Is Owen Whistler dead? In the film's climax, Jordan takes the responsibility of saving the group from the mysterious mask-clad attacker. After the group finds the dead bodies of the other camp staff, Alexandra leads the teens away through a passage in the woods. Meanwhile, Jordan decides to head to the warehouse and retrieve guns to protect his friends. However, when they arrive at the warehouse, the killer has already killed Cora and cleaned the place. Meanwhile, the killer attacks Owen at the mess. The two fight and Jordan arrives on the scene. The serial killer finally reveals herself as Molly, whose real name is Angie Phillips. Angie explains that she was a student at the camp when she was 14 years old. She was tortured and traumatized by Owen and the camp's destructive methods. Hence, she is seeking revenge on those who harmed her. As a result, her pattern behind the killings becomes evident. Angie is only targeting the camp's staff, and all her kills are members of the camp. Gabriel, the camp's plant, manipulates Stu into revealing his true sexuality. Hence, Angie is trying to cleanse the camp, and Owen is her final target. Jordan retrieves Owen's revolver, but after learning the truth about the camp, turns on the camp leader. Jordan holds Owen at gunpoint as Angie uses Jordan's past and trauma to make them shoot Owen. However, Jordan refuses to shoot Owen after much deliberation. Jordan decides to deal with his issues in a non-violent manner and refuses to let his rage fuel his actions. However, Angie attacks Owen and kills him by impaling him on a taxidermy deer head. Angie tries to recruit Jordan to help her cleanse other such camps. However, Jordan refuses, and the police soon arrest Angie. In the end, the deadly charade concludes with Jordan leading the other teens to safety. What happened to Molly? During the film's final moments, viewers see the killer's shocking identity. While the killer introduced herself as Angie, viewers have come to know this person as Molly, the camp nurse. As a result, viewers must be wondering about what happened to the real Molly. In the film's opening minutes, viewers see the masked killer attacking a car. The driver, a woman, is the real Molly. Molly is on her way to the Whistler camp to assume her new position as a nurse. However, Angie kills Molly and assumes her identity. Angie pretends to be Molly for most of the film's duration and only reveals her true identity during the climax. Angie commits murders on the camp by pretending to be Molly. However, she never harms any students and looks out for them. However, she does not provide any medical treatment. Hence, it is evident that Molly is an imposter. The truth is revealed in the end, and Angie admits she killed the real Molly. Ultimately, Molly is dead, and her death sparks the bloody events at the Whistler camp. Molly is a sacrificial pawn in Angie's grand scheme to exact revenge on the Whistler camp. The revelation of the killer's identity not only provides a shocking twist to the film's ending, it also ties up loose ends. It explains Molly's fate and highlights how ruthless Angie can be in her quest to cleanse the camp. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.